Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Outcome Based Education Channel. Uh, today we are going to see the step by step process of how to uh, extract the features. In the previous videos, uh, we have seen already uh, how to apply perceptron model on the uh, different image databases and extracting the features I shown. All these wavelet features and uh, how to apply this uh, perceptron model. So splitting the training and testing. Uh, so this is the big example. Uh, in uh, Many people can uh, confuse uh, for, for applying how to apply these features or not. So in this video, I'm going to explain a step-by-step -step process how to extract these features, first of all. So we are using uh, this function, uh, voice.path-expand-user. So this function will be used for extracting the uh, features from the image database. So this image database is available in this folder under the images. So these are this is the database. So this dataset link is also given in the previous video description. You can find there. And after loading this data directory by importing the OS module, then what we are doing is we are using the walk function. This walk function is available in the OS module and it will read all the files in the directory. For example, we have given up to the images. In the images, we are having again airplane and basketball, baseball, basketball court, beach like that. In that airplane, again, we are having different files. So it will read all the files and directories from the root directory. The root directory we have given up to the images. Okay. So now, uh, by reading each and every file from the uh, directories and files available in that uh, images folder, so we are adding them to labels and the files. So the labels are having the folder names of the classes like aeroplane, baseball, basketball, all these are labels. Okay. All, all this information, this entire uh, thing will come under the file name. That is why we are displaying uh, from the files list each and every file F is, uh, it is storing into the F and we are displaying. So this is how we can add labels and the files. So after that, we need to extract the features. This problem we will see uh, right now, how to extract the features and how to add them into CSV file. In the previous video, I have shown directly how to load the CSV uh, file and how to load the features. So if you can see, observe in the previous video, I have explained this. I have already uh, extracted a CSV file features and I have loaded with the pd.readcsv function from the pandas. Okay. But now how to write this extracted features into CSV? How to write this extracted features into CSV? That problem we will observe. So here what we will do, we will uh, import the required modules. So numpy, pywt, cv2. This pywt is for Python wavelet transform package and CV2 is for open CV. Okay. In SK image features, uh, we have already seen in the previous videos Greco matrix and Greco probes. These two functions we are going to import. Why these two functions will be useful to extract a texture feature of any image? We need gray level co occurrence matrix and Greco properties. This gray level co occurrence matrix will compute the uh, representation of uh, pixel patterns, how the patterns of uh, pixels are arranged, okay, and uh, how to extract these statistical features, okay, like contrast, uh, mean, uh, uh, and homogeneity, energy, dissimilarity, different 13 features are uh, defined by the author or Alec. okay. So now we need to extract the features and we need to save in the CSV file. So for saving the CSV file, we can open a CSV file like with keyword with open function and you can give the path of your CSV file. In the same current folder, I am saving the CSV file. That is why I am not giving any previous. For example, if you want to give any C colon double slash 
some new directory like that if you want to save you can give that directory name completely but in the same current folder where my program is executing there only i am saving this so i am not giving any folder if you go to this uh, uh, folder this program is executing in ml python so here already i have extracted this new features sir so that i am deleting now so there is no new features file now after extracting this features this new features dot csv will be created again we'll see now so you have to create a writer object this writer object you can create by passing this w r variable here okay because you are opening your csv file with the wr writer so csv dot writer of wr if you pass this it will return the writer object okay with this writer object you can uh, write any content to the csv file so csv file is nothing but comma separated values okay so now for f in files files is what list of files we are having here so in the files list we have already added all this file names okay so we need to read file and we need to extract the features so how to read the image by passing the image name image names are available in the files list okay this files list each and every image name we are reading by for f in files for for f in files means each and every file name will be stored in f and you are reading by using the cv2 open cv function cv2 dot im read function of f that means you are passing one file name after reading this file it is storing into the img variable okay now this img variable you need to pass to feature extraction module that feature extraction module is nothing but discrete wavelet transform since uh, the image is the two dimensional function so we are using the two dimensional discrete wavelet transform and which kind of wavelet we are using dubchis wavelet okay dubchis wavelet so after applying this uh, discrete wavelet transform the wavelet coefficients what we have discussed in the earlier video previous video the uh, approximation horizontal vertical and uh, diagonal coefficients high frequency components will be stored in the qf2 okay so this qf2 we can again this qf2 variable we can again differentiate ll is the approximation ls is the horizontal hl is the vertical and hh is the diagonal image coefficients that means high level, high frequency components are differentiated this is what multi resolution and multi scale transformation okay now after decomposing this image into four uh, different uh, uh, features uh, then we need to extract gray level co occurrence matrix that means texture features we have to extract for that what we are doing gray co matrix function we are using this g is the empty list we have created for adding all the gray co matrix sets for each image that is why i am creating the empty list inside the for loop inside the for loop not outside the for loop why for each and every image f it should create a new empty list <coughs> of g because for each and every image there will be a separate gray co matrix okay so that is why i am creating all this empty list contrast energy dissimilarity homogeneity lists inside the for loop so for each and every image f it will create a new uh, gray co matrix uh, list okay so here how many gray co matrices we are using so for uh, approximation there will be three channels and uh, <coughs> horizontal features three channels rgb this 0 1 2 are nothing but rgb channels okay this vertical uh, coefficients are having three channels like that um, we are having four coefficients ll lh hl hh and each and every four coefficient is having uh, three channels rgb so four into three 12 gray level co occurrence matrices we will get it is very easy to compute so there are four coefficients and each and every coefficient is having three channels rgb so four into three total 12 gray level co occurrence matrices we will get okay after that 
after occurring after computing the gray level coherence matrix we need to append gray co probes that means gray level coherence properties this is depend on this gray level coherence matrix so we need to give input as g gray level coherence matrix we have to give so there are 12 gray level coherence matrix are there so what we need to do each and every gray level coherence matrix we have to compute this four features contrast energy dissimilarity and homogeneity that is why again we are taking the for loop and up to what length the range from 0 to length of g length of g is what 12 so from 0 to 11 or it will take for loop always n minus 1 so 12 times loop will be iterated 0 to 11 so all the 12 gray level coherence matrices will be read and then you are computing the function using the gray co probes and you are appending the resultant to what contrast when you are computing the contrast feature and when you are computing the energy feature you are appending to enr list and when you are computing dissimilarity you are appending to dissimilarity list and when you are computing homogeneity you are appending to homogeneity list we have to append to homogeneity list this should be appended to the homogeneity okay this should be append to homogeneity now now after adding all these things what we are doing we are make reshaping the array we are reshaping the array because we need to concat we need to concat all these features as a single feature we need to concat all these features as a single vector okay so single row we can say simply so that is why we are appending all these features and reshaping into uh, single dimensional vector and we are concatenating a, as a single row okay so that will be saved in the features variable so in this features variable you are having complete row so like this rows how many will be there how many images are there that many times your for loop will be rotated how many images will be there in this example we are having 10 folders in each folder 100 images are there so total 1000 images 10 into 100 1000 images are there so total 1000 features you are going to extract 1000 features you are going to write in a csv file with the write row function write row function so this is the simple example what you are going to do you need to apply the wavelet function you need to separate the coefficients and then all the greco matrices you have to com uh, compute if you know the single line you have to change only the coefficient name here nothing is bigger after that you have to extract the features and then you need to reshape them and concat the features then write into the csv file this is what we need to do so we will execute this program so data loaded and the files also read completed importing the packages completed and now you observe here there is no new features database that means csv file is not available now we are running with the uh, this component then the new features file will create and when you are getting star in the jupyter it is still executing so there are 1000 images and 1000 images need to compute the wavelet transform coefficients after that it need to compute gray level coherence matrix and after that it need to compute the gray co properties like contrast energy dissimilarity homogeneity so all these operations are heavy operations so it will take a few seconds time so after that you can see you will get a feature database this is how you can create a feature database once you created the csv file then easily you can load the csv file as we mentioned in the previous uh, example okay once you created the csv file you can read using the pandas and you can give to the directly machine learning model like perceptron model logistic regression whatever machine learning model we are having with that you can run so it is still executing 
the uh, features file is created once it execution completed then you you will get uh, data into that So still it is executing, it is taking some time. Let us just wait and see. And uh, uh, in this video you can also see like uh, we have to, we, now we are storing, execution completed. Now we are storing only the features. If you want to do some supervised learning, definitely you need to store output label also along with the features. That also we will see in the next video. So now let me show just these features are completed and 887 KB is the size. Open this CSV file. We can see all the CSV files as Excel sheet. So this is how the features are ex extracted. So how many features are there? Total 48 features per image. Okay. Okay. Total 12 gray level coherence matrices we have created. And for 12 gray level coherence matrix, four features. Contrast. Uh, homogeneity, energy and dissimilarity. So 12 into 4, 48 features we have extracted and how many features, uh, how many feature rows are available? You observe we have 1000 images. So total 1000 image features are available. So this is how you can create a feature database. In the next video we will see how to load this database and how to <coughs> Uh, train a model with this database we will see in the next video and this uh, code will be uploaded into the uh, google drive and the link is given below in the description of this video